This is another example of creating a frequency distribution table. This problem is one of the problems from the homework. It says refer to the accompanying data set and use the 30 screw lengths to construct a frequency distribution. Begin with the lower class limit of 1.470 inches and use a class width of 0 0.010 inches. The screws were labeled as having a length of one and a half inches. Okay, so first, before we get the frequency counts, let's go ahead and set up our classes. So I begin with the first lower class, which is already inputted for me, which is 1.470. And now I use the class width to figure out the rest of the lower classes. So I have to add the class width each time. So 1.470 plus 0 0.010 that is going to give me 1.480. So I found my second low class limit. Now let's go ahead and find the third, fourth, and fifth. So I'm going to add the class width each time. So my third lower class would be 1.490. Then my fourth lower class limit would be 1.500. And then I have 1.510. So I have my lower classes. Now I have to determine what my upper classes are. So I'm going to take my second lower class limit. And now I'm going to take a look at what's the smallest place value I have. Well, the smallest place value I have is the thousandth place. So now I need to subtract 0 0.001. So I have to subtract one thousandth. So 1.480 minus 0 0.0001, that is going to give me 1.479. So now I have my first upper class. Now let's go ahead and find the rest of them. In order to find the rest of the upper classes, I'm going to go ahead and add the class width each time. So then I'll have 1.489, then I have 1.499, then I have 1.509, and then I have 1.519. So now I have all my classes set up. Now let's determine the frequencies. So I'm going to have to click on this icon to view the data. So here's all my data. Now I don't have to input each one of these individually into StackCrunch. So I see these two overlapping squares. If I click on that, it'll say open in StackCrunch. This will open up the data in StackCrunch for me. Okay, so now I have all the data input into StackCrunch. Now let's follow the steps. Make this bigger real quick. So I have to go to stat, tables, frequency. I'm going to select my column. So my column here is variable one. I have frequency, relative frequency highlighted. I'm going to click on bin numerical data values, bin numerical values. Then I'm going to start at, this was the first lower class limit which was provided to me. And then my class width, which is 0 0.010. Then I could go ahead and click on compute. And now I have my frequency table. Okay. So it, the frequency table doesn't actually set up the classes for you. We remember we have to do that by hand. But the main thing is it gives us the frequencies right over here, the second column. Let's go ahead and input these into the homework problem. So first class has a frequency of three, meaning there's three data values in that first class. Then I have six, eight, 11, and then two. And then if everything goes well, we should get this correct. Awesome. 